So it turns out there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why we're not all living our best lives. There was a neuroscience study on the self-reference effect. And the interesting part about the study was that when people thought about their future selves or their past selves, their brain activity matched the same brain activity of when they thought of a celebrity they might have respected. So take me for example. I wake up super early in the morning, fix breakfast for the kids, pack their lunches, rush them off to school, get back and start my nine to five. And at the end of my nine to five, I fix dinner, get the kids ready for bed and go to sleep so we can do it all over again. Not once in that day have I taken any time to learn a new language, do something to lose weight. We aren't actually being the type of person that does the things that we want to do. So I challenge you to do one thing this week, one thing that's different, something that's getting you toward that goal that you want to hit. And then when that becomes normal, do another one until one day you actually do become the person you want to be.